again. There you got him. <laughs> nice smally 18 incher. Put up a nice fight. Keep popping at them. There he is. See, you yeah, irritated him. Nice job, Dad. Another nice one. Probably only about a 16 or 17, but good fight. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Josh with Wisconsin Fishing Adventures, and last time we were out, we were targeting smallmouth. That video will be linked right up here if you want to check it out. It was a phenomenal bite. Talked to my dad and decided we're going to get him out there today. We're just getting hooked up to the boat. We're going to head out to the lake and we'll catch back up with you in a little bit. Yeah, I started with a jig and a plastic yesterday and I had two bites, but they, but they dropped it right away. Sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't catch anything on a jig and a plastic yesterday. I switched over to the blade bait and I started catching them left and right. Decent one. Yeah, I'll take care of it. Angry. Yeah, not bad. Oh, it's ordinary. They all just fight so hard. So much fun to catch. Sneak behind you quick. First one, I gave dad the bait that was working yesterday and then I used the other one that wasn't working yesterday and of course I caught one. Maybe try casting up onto the point. That's where I casted. Faster rip. Faster what? Mind, to let get back to the bottom. mind if I show you once? bottom hit bottom see how fast I rip that I mean you're kind of giving it a good snap yeah. then you just let it got one I'm, hey I dad like you said how much time do I spend on the water right yeah. oh that's not quite what we're after but can't exactly tell them not to bite, can you? Yeah. Uh, I gotta come around on the other side quick, Dad. The sun's messing with us. Just a little guy, little male. Hey, still a catch, right? Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, something yeah. took a big look old at, swipe there, too. I thought he had one on the other side, too. Yeah, something went after him. There's some big old monsters in here. So that's what I was trying to say, Dad, was when you're ripping it, rip it fast. It's not a jig, it's a, it's more of a rip. You're in it. Oh, oh, I'd leave it out there if your bait's still working, because they'll, they'll hit it. I went a long ways before I... They'll follow it and they will hit it. I had, I had two or three different times yesterday where I set the hook, had the fish on, missed it, and then I just let it fall back down to the bottom. I went to rip it up again, I caught one. Don't know if it was the same fish, but smallies like to travel in packs. And they will chase that sucker, especially with the water so clear right now. Just a tip. So I'm gonna set a, I'm gonna let us go a little bit further and then I'm gonna spot lock us. And then fish will be off to towards the point and behind us. I thought you had one there for a second. Something, either a rock or a something hit it. Yeah. There's one. Looks like a decent one. Or just an angry one, right? Felt like a walleye at first. Now it feels like a bass. Hopefully it's a bass. 
Yep, that's a bass. I think it's a smallmouth. Strong guy. Yeah. Very big. They are just so rowdy though, aren't they? Yeah. Nice one, Dad. Yeah. It felt like a walleye right at first, but then it, then you could feel the difference right away. I tell you what, that walleye that I caught yesterday fought just as hard as a smallmouth. Want a picture with that little guy? Little red eye? Oh, we gotta flip around again. Dang sun. Smile! Smile. I'm not a bass fisherman, bud. Oh, come on. Gotcha. But they're fun to catch. They are fun to catch. You get your thing running? Yeah. Nice little smallie. Boy, it's teaching me how to run the bait, and I guess it worked. Ah. <laughs> That one was a fish? I don't know. Right in the same area. Something small, because he hit it again. And again. There you got him. <laughs> hit it 20 times. Well, sometimes it takes a little while. Oh, it's not it's that not small. That small. No. <laughs> he just kept on nipping at it. Is that a large? I don't think so. It's a nice smallie. <laughs> he just kept nipping at it, Josh. Yeah, they do that sometimes. He just dick, dick. Oh. Oh, that's a dandy. Yeah. It's a heck of a smallie. Well, you got a hold of them, you might as well measure them. Most of the players working in the WD them all up. Very good, thanks. It's amazing, you know, what you can do when you just do little stuff wanna, like that. Want a picture with that nicer one? Yeah. Better have one. Come on. Straighten your tail out, buddy. Come on. They like to curl up this time of year. Got some cool spots on it, too. It's camera day, huh? Yeah, it is. Of course it is. Nice smallie, 18 incher. Put up a nice fight. Thanks, Josh. No problem. They are fun to catch this time of year. They get pretty rowdy. Nice catch, Dad. He, he kept hitting it all the way back to the boat. Yeah. I mean, it was hit. I hit but he just barely hit it, and huh. then he let go of it. Not quite like they were hitting it for me yesterday. And then, and then, and then the one time, all of a sudden, you just, you could see the line move. I seen it. Yeah. They, uh, I think these blade baits are a little bit more of a reaction bite, where sometimes it more or less ticks them off. Uh -huh. So maybe he was just kind of pecking at it, he was mad at it, and then he got mad enough and decided to eat it. Yeah, every time I'd go like that, when it dropped back down, I'd hear feel just a little peck. Really? Well, I kept thinking for a little bit there. I was thinking that maybe I'm just hitting a... Oop. That was a bite, wasn't it? Yep. Oh. Yeah. It was the same peck. Keep popping it, then. There he is. See? He yeah, irritated him. Back to it again. Nice job, Dad. See? Yeah, these, these blade baits are fun when you figure them out, aren't they? Another really fighting? Nice one. Yeah, it looks nice. It's amazing how clear the water is this time of year. Oh, that's a really nice one. Yeah, a little smaller. It is, isn't it? Whoop. He's got a little more guts. Yeah, though. yeah, he's ordinary. There we go. Nice job, Dad. Hey. He 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 pecked her a couple of times. Well you saw I saw the that, line. yeah. I saw him peck it and then I said keep Keep popping it. And that's that's what that other one did, but he pecked it like eight times coming in. Yeah. Before he decided to. Well, I'm glad you're able to at least catch a few on the blade bait today. Well, you see why I like doing it now? But I think the only reason I'm catching them is because you 
Yep. Yeah, yeah, you got to give it a pretty good pop to get them, get them fired up. You need to get them there. Another nice one, probably only about a 16 or 17, but good fight. They are ornery this time of year. Love catching them. That one's a little darker too. Yeah. It's funny how they're all a little bit different colored. Yeah. Oh, oh I missed oh. one. That's all right. I caught plenty of them yesterday. That's okay. I just there, I got them. Oh, that one's good. That? Yeah, probably. I'm not used to, I don't usually use this rod. Um, this might, yeah, this is a medium light. I'm not as used to this rod. I can net it too, Dad. Oh, I want to do it too. Do it once. Oh, I got him in the belly somehow. We don't have to say that. That's all right. It happens. I got the blade bait. I'm screwed up. That's all right. Just lift him up. No big deal. No big deal. I thought he had a monster. Well, no wonder he felt so darn big. He hit it, and I must have just pulled it away from him and somehow got him in the belly. Sorry, bud. That's all right. No big deal. It happens. Evidently, you've had a few uh, things like that happen before. Yeah, I just don't worry about it. Nice one, bud. Yeah, not bad. Got that one in the belly. He did hit it twice, actually. The second time, he must have just missed it with his mouth and got him in the belly. We'll let him go. Hopefully, we'll get the next one by the mouth. Yeah, it happens sometimes. I know he hit it because I felt him crush it. I think sometimes they pin it to the bottom just like the walleyes do, and then when you set the hook, if it's not in their mouth, it'll slide back and get them in the belly. The first one you got was nice though. Even the second one was nice too. I just think it's such a fun way to fish for them. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hit it on the fall? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh he came off, didn't he? That's okay. Uh, it happens. One thing I've learned to do is kind of reel up my slack a little bit and put just a little bit of pressure on my pole before I do my pop. Because sometimes I hit it when it's just sitting there on the bottom. Just little thing I learned. Otherwise, in the past, I would have issues where I'd just go to pop it, and I'd, I'd feel the fish on the pop, but I was already almost coming down, and then I'd kind of try and set the hook afterwards, but I'd miss the fish a lot of times because I was giving them a little bit of slack. Oh. <laughs> I was just going to pull it out of the water. And he I hit saw it. that. Yeah, they work pretty good even vertical too, don't they? Evidently. <laughs> That's like the third one I've had vertical hit it. Yeah. Like yeah. Right uh, when I'm going to pull it out of the water. Yeah, and I had one do that earlier too. I think you're out fishing me today, Dad. First. I wouldn't say it's a first. Uh, I don't think it's big. If you want to, otherwise I can. Actually, I might not even need to. Getting smaller as he gets closer. Oh, now he's getting bigger. Yeah, that wasn't getting smaller that run. It's not bad. He's pretty darn angry, too. And kind of wrapped up and unhooked. What the heck is going on? 
It's a dark one. Fought a lot bigger than he was, didn't he? Look how dark it is. They are wide though. Yeah. That's Yeah, that's that's a smaller one. Pre-spawn female. Something to note, guys. We're not actually fishing these fish on beds. We're just fishing them. The water's only like 44, 47 degrees. And uh, we're just fishing them before they get to the beds. And they're just putting on the feed bag before they spawn. All right, guys, we are back to our first spot. This is going to be our last spot of the day. See if we can catch a couple. And then we are going to head out for the day. Been a fun day with a bunch of bass. One uh, bonus walleye. I bet we're going to get a couple more here, though. We're marking a lot of fish. Yeah, well now we just gotta actually catch them, put them in the boat. <laughs> Dirty dog. Hit it on the fall. Pop, pop. Pop, pop, huh? Yeah, right. You're just so good you can tell and make sure you miss the little ones only. Yeah. Got one. I told you they're loaded in here right now, didn't I? I'll take I'll take care of it. You keep fishing. Doubles! Doubles. Nice job, Dad. How's yours feel? Medium. Mine's good. He's not cooperating, that's for sure. Mine's good. Oh, we're gonna get wrapped up. Oh, maybe not. Mine is angry and large. Need help? Oh, you got it now. Got him out of there. He's a little guy. Just, Whoa, just ordinary, hog. huh? Yeah, I, I got a good one here. That's why I was like, I can't help you right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, dude, I had you almost out of there. Get him? You get him? All right, cool. I was trying to get the net clear, and then he shook on me. Mine was not getting off. Mine somehow has... No wonder mine been getting off. I had him hooked with one hook right into light stuff. Mine has the entire trouble through his lip. One, oh, what a hog. Yeah, mine's a good one. <laughs> that one sure fought for its size though, didn't it, Dad? Yeah, he sure did. He sure did. I had fought. <laughs> fought crazy hard. He died, when he died also, he just died right out. Yeah. Came right over here. They're ordinary this time oh, of year. Nice 18. I'm gonna say it's the same size or a little bigger than that first one I got. Yeah. Nice 18 incher, doubled up with dad. What happened? He's, he's always moving the dock or the bolt lift. He just pulled it off a shore. Oh, really? It was really neat. Huh. Got a guy putting docks in over there, too. Pretty interesting watching them use their big lifts. I'm gonna take a quick picture with this guy, pretty nice one, and uh, let him go. Hey, we gotta get back to fishing. That was a double. <laughs> Not sure if it was bottom or a fish. My line was caught here on the cleat. Oh. And when I pulled up, it felt like something pulled yeah. back, so I thought I had a fish. We've had that happen before, too. <laughs> that weird. Had it happen more than once, I'll tell you that much. If you don't get excited when you feel a little tug on your line, I don't think you're fishing for the right reasons. Oh, there's one. <laughs> oh, I lost him. Oh, he smashed it when I was bringing it up, so he was probably just barely hooked. Pretty crazy when you can catch them, sometimes cast after cast after cast, and especially the way they fight. This, 
this is almost as good as fishing the Mississippi River walleyes for me. I just love it. Well, when we were over on... Oh, <laughs> I'm talking to you and he slammed it. Could you imagine if we were paying attention how many more fish we'd catch, Dad? He hit it again <laughs> and I missed him again. I bet it'll hit it again. I probably jinxed it. Oh! Yeah, I guess we're gonna learn to fish bass now. Yep. Well, that was a fun lake to bass fish, though. You didn't catch a ton of big ones, but you didn't catch a bunch of dinks either. Nice job, Dad. I better get out of the way. He's, He's coming towards. It's coming towards my line. He's out there away. I hit her right away. First time to the bottom, he hit her. Better one? Medium. Not huge. Starting to fight more the closer to the boat he gets. Sometimes they do that. Oh. Wherever you need to go. <laughs> I need to come back here. That's fine. Come on back. I don't like boat flipping them with these, with the treble hooks, because a lot of times they come out and then you got treble hooks flying everywhere. It gets a little dangerous. He, he was no. a nice brown one. Though. Yeah, good fighter. Yeah. He hit her way out there. Yeah, I saw that. That was the first, it was just on its way down. Want to hold him? Nah. No. No? No problem. Catch you later, bud. Go get bigger. See that one. He's on there that time, ain't he? My, la my, my line was completely slack and then all of a sudden it, it was straight. Yeah. And I wasn't reeling or nothing. I think that color makes a difference there, Dad. You notice how I haven't had a bite since I put the purple one on? that one bite right away. When you put oh yeah, I did, didn't I? Get... Yeah. I don't think they know how to be nice, Dad. This guy here, he, he got the, the whole front. He was hungry. Yeah, he wanted it. He took the, it was like that last one that you won the for. Got one. I just had to get in the right spot, apparently. Need a player's? Another cookie cutter. Man, they are ornery though. Not much. Yours is probably heavier, yours is a female. I think mine's a male. You got it? Yep. Double. Ah, uh, not quite a double. I hooked mine out. Oh, yours is bigger. See you later, buds. One more cast and then I'm done. One more cast. Then I'm done. Some of us got to work tonight, Dad. You hear, Josh? One more cast. <laughs> He's, uh... I'll probably make three... three. He's 35 years old now, and I've been listening to this since he was five. Probably longer than that. And I'll probably make three more casts. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh no! Mine. I had a bite before that too. Man, they are just ornery today. <laughs> Glad you came out today, Dad. Uh, yeah. Good. Of course. One in the mouth, one in the gill. One, no. Then we could have said a Ano double. Another Five. double, yeah. Another little guy. Yeah, Fun to catch. I remember when I remember when on this lake, if we were catching a small mouse as much as we were like that one, we'd have been Pretty damn proud of ourselves for catching them that size. Absolutely. 
Yeah, the population in this lake has really exploded. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> cast on the other side and get another fish. Oh man, what a day! I think we're uh, pretty even now. Yeah, we might be. That one's a different flavor, Dad. Oh, that's why. Oh, barely hooked too. Ha <laughs> Yeah, we probably are pretty even now, Dad. I think I got you way surpassed as far as hooked oh. and not landed though. Yeah, definitely bites. I you hooked. definitely got way more bites than me. Well, look at how many I, I hooked and was in the bringing in stage where I lost. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this spring bass fishing video. If you guys haven't tried the Acme V-Rod for spring or fall smallmouth fishing, you're definitely missing out. Um, as you can see, I, I had my dad out today. I had to teach him a little bit about how to work the bait a little bit more aggressive. He's not used to fishing that more aggressive style. He's more of a live bait fisherman. So hopefully you guys caught that tip. Hopefully it's helpful for you. It's a really fun way to fish. Catch a lot of little ones, but we do also catch some big ones doing it. This lake we're fishing has a lot of smaller smallmouth with a few quality ones mixed in. No huge ones over 20 inches, but definitely a lot of fun. Game fish isn't open yet, so we come out here, do some spring catch and release bass fishing, and it's just a blast. So if you guys are getting bored and want to enjoy the nice weather, want to get out fishing, don't want to go down to the Mississippi, I know you can't even fish down there right now, but uh, even once they open it back up, if you don't want to go all the way to the Mississippi River, there's lots of fishing opportunities close to home. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll be doing a whole bunch more this summer. Stay safe and tight lines.